What's good? It's the Fly Haitian Kid, DJ Cash, rocking out with Caribbean Focus TV. Stay focused, huh? Hey, Atlanta. It's your girl, Corey Renee, and it is another fabulous episode of Caribbean Focus TV. Now, Sherry Garden is not in the building today, but I guarantee you, you are still going to see that beautiful and talented diva throughout this entire episode. So don't think that she's not going to be here. Now, make sure that you guys stay tuned and stay focused on all of our social media accounts. We have Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. The Caribbean Focus fan page is fantastic because we have a lot of behind the scenes stuff for you guys to see and interviews, full interviews are also on caribbeanfocus.tv. That's where we have full interviews and performances from different concerts and events that we've been to. So make sure that you guys go on the website, register on the website. We're going to start issuing a monthly newsletter for everybody that signs up so you guys can make sure you know everything that's gone on throughout the month for Caribbean Focus TV. But Sherry Garden, to follow her on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, it's at Cherry Garden, C-H-E-R-R-I-E. G-A-R-D-E-N. I am also on Facebook and Instagram for Corey Renee, K-O-R-R-I-E, R-E-N, and two E's. So you guys, make sure that you are following us. Stay tuned and stay focused because we have a lot of great stuff for you today. So do not change that channel and we'll be right back. Stay focused. Hi, I'm Casey Fennell, Miss Universe Jamaica 2014, and you're locked into Caribbean Focus. Stay focused. Welcome back, Atlanta. Now, let's go ahead. I want to introduce to you guys a very special guest. We want to give a warm welcome to director Chris Scott. Now, you guys, make sure you understand this lady is a very busy woman she is the president of the caribbean association of georgia she is the owner of trinity performing arts academy there are two locations one in stockbridge and one also in conyers georgia for henry county she is the chapter leader of the national council of negro women she is also a wife a mother and an ordained minister. Now, she is also the recipient from the WNBA Atlanta Dream. They selected her this year, one out of eight women that were selected as Atlanta's most inspiring women. Caribbean Focus, please help me welcome Director Chris Scott. How are you today? I am wonderful. Thank you so much, Corey, and thank you for having me here today. Thank you for coming. Why don't you tell the viewers a little bit about yourself, where you're from? Well, I was originally born in Trinidad, and I always forget to say Trinidad and Tobago, but I actually my parents migrated to New York when I was five, so I was raised in Corona, New York, and that's where I'm from. What was life like for you growing up in Trinidad? I'm thinking you didn't spend a whole bunch of time there, and I'm sure you go back to visit, but how was your time for you on the island? My time on the island was, was great. Again, I left when I was five, but the rich culture has made such an impact on my life. So it, it was great, I have to say. Right. N nice. I just love people that actually, you know, lived on the island and they come here and you were in New York. What did you do in New York? Well, I lived in New York. Uh, again, my parents migrated there. So I did all of my schooling in New York and it was really amazing. I grew up in, in an area called Corona, which was very historic. Folks like Langston Hughes, uh, Malcolm X, different people that were rich in culture were from the area in Corona. So I did a lot in New York. I've been in theater for 35 years and that started in New York. Theater, now as you mentioned theater, you did a recent play with our Cherry Garden called Resident Alien. 
How was that? Oh, it was amazing. I know you all know about Cherry Garden. She's an amazing person. And I learned from that experience that she's also an amazing actress. So it was great to work with her. Um, she is just amazing, great actress. And we had a really good time working on Resident Alien, being able to share an important issue with others in the community. Okay, well, Caribbean Focus, especially for you guys, special presentation for our viewers. We want to give you guys a peek into Resident Alien, starring our very own Cherry Garden, directed by the fabulous Chris Scott. <laughs> stay tuned and stay, stay focused. focused. Time is so late. Oh my God. Wait. Get ready for work. You just took forever. Oh my gosh. Claudia, I'm gonna steal off the bike. You're not gonna help me. No, I don't to tell you to bring all the bags with you. Welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed that clip of Resident Alien with our very own Cherry Garden with her accent. <laughs> she just, I loved her in that play. I hope you guys loved her in that play because it was just amazing. I really loved watching that play and seeing her in her role. That was a first for me to see her doing her acting. Now, as I stated, Resident Alien was directed by the fabulous director, Chris Scott. But not only is Chris Scott into the arts, as I stated, she is the president of the Caribbean Association of Georgia. Now, tell us a little bit about this association and what it is that you guys do. Well, 
Corey, we are a humanitarian organization. We do a lot in the community. For instance, we just finished feeding the soldiers at the USO at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, meaning it was announced that day that Caribbean Association of Georgia was actually at the airport serving our soldiers. So the soldiers that came through the airport that day with their families were able to come and get a nice hot Caribbean spicy meal. So that was great. So that's one of the things that we do. We also offer scholarships to students of Caribbean descent. We feed the homeless in December at the Atlanta missions. We do a host of things, humanitarian efforts that help make the community a better place while sharing and educating others about the Caribbean culture. So we're excited at the Caribbean Association of Georgia and what we do in the community. Now, why don't you tell our viewers, for children who are going off to college, how do they sign up for a scholarship? How do they submit an application for a scholarship? That's a good question. They can actually go to our website at www.caribbeangeorgia.org, and there's all kinds of great information there, and they can get information on scholarships and okay. submit their documentation, essays, and other documentations, ex acceptance letters, things like that, and definitely sign up for the scholarship. Good. Go there and sign up. You know I believe that children are the future and education is highly important. We just had our back to school episode. So definitely high school seniors, go on to the website, see what you can do, get some money because yes. the more money that you get to help yourself go to college, the less stress you'll have on you, the more you'll be able to focus on your studies. Now, the Caribbean Association of Georgia is hosting an event coming up on August 22nd. Yes, that's a huge event. And the biggest part of it for me is the fact that it's free. It's a free event. How many times do we hear that? Free. 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 <laughs> F-R-E-E. -E. Yes. It's free. It's a free event to the community. You can come out and have a great day of food, fun, just have a great time listening to great music. And we actually have a great headliner this year, Everton Blender, one of the top artist out of Jamaica will be there headlining the show. We have some great local artists, and they're not just local. For instance, Dansky, King Dansky. Mm -hmm. He was the Calypso monarch one time, and we have Imani Ray. She's a princess. friend to the show. She was on She's the, amazing. Yes, I've seen princess her. Princess Imani Ray. You have to see her in action. Yes. And then we also have Gucci London performing. Okay. And we have a host of just amazing performers, but imagine a free concert with Everton Blender. That's right. unheard of. So it's going to be just a day of, of, of just a lot of fun. Come out and get some jerk chicken, some curry chicken, and, and have a good time. Free admission at Clayton County International Park. Right, and that's in Jonesboro, that's Georgia, in Jonesboro right? That's in Jonesboro, Georgia, also known as The Beach. And that actual address is 2300 Highway 138, and that's on August 22nd from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. And it's free. Free music, free dancing, great food, lots of fun. Free is the highlight of that. Now, why don't you very quick, why did you choose August 22nd for this event? Is there any significance to that? You know, one of the things with Caribbean Association of Georgia is to make sure that we have great relationships with other organizations within the community. And we wanted to make sure that there wasn't much else going on with different organizations. So we kind of chose that time and somehow shied away from June, which is Caribbean Heritage Month, to make sure that we were not in conflict with any other events taking place. So people would not have to choose and say, I can go here, but I can't go there, but they'll have the opportunity to do more. All right, Caribbean Focus, make sure that you guys check out the event on August 22nd at Clayton International Park. Everybody, make sure that you stay tuned and stay hey, focused. focused. Hey guys, it's Imani Ray, and you already know I'm pumping with Caribbean Focus, so make sure you stay focused. Hey, on July 26, 2015, there was a very special concert here in Atlanta called the Fusion 2 Concert. It had Barris Hammond, Kevin Little, and 
Freddie Jackson. That's the fusion, mixing the reggae with the R&B and soul. I mean, it was an amazing concert. How do you like Barris Hammond or Kevin Little or Freddie Jackson? Well, my favorite is Barris Hammond. Okay. Uh, Rockaway. That song is just amazing. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm hearing it in my head right now. Yes. Now, we want to share some of Barris Hammond with you guys, so make sure that you stay tuned and stay focused. We have interview and performance coming up with Sherry Garden. So, stay, stay focused. Stay focused. CFTV viewers, you wouldn't believe how I feel right now. I feel good, cause I'm sitting right beside the one and only Barris Hammond. Me feel good, me feel good. What? Are you doing? <laughs> Are you doing Mr. Barris Hammond? <laughs> Can not answer you after that introduction? <laughs> You're too good, you mashed me up already. <laughs> but um, it's wonderful being here, you know, and in your company. Oh, that's God. that's beautiful. Yes, ma man. All right. It's like when I think of Jamaica and I think of our musicians, I mean, there's Bob Marley and then there's you. Your music is timeless. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's been, he's been joking with me because I, I needed a dreadlocks for our flyer. Yeah. And I chose a dreadlocks, but him never have no dreads, so I couldn't put him on the flyer. <laughs> If you did jet like Bob Marley, now you would have depp on the flyer. Yeah, I, agree, I, agree. <laughs> I joke, I joke. We will fix that. But yes, man, your music is timeless. I mean, growing up with all of that, like all of the music you had tonight, I was almost in tears because it's like your music um, pinpoints different moments in life for a lot of people. You know how deep your music is, man. I wasn't. Um, it wasn't intended <laughs> for me to think about what I was doing. It, it just came and um, I just sponged up every moment of every vibe I got, you know. And it's wonderful that it came in the form of songs, you know. And I'm still enjoying, you know. And you, 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 most, mostly what I love about what I'm doing presently is the generations that... Um, the music seems to um, touch because sometimes when I look into an audience I see like about three, four generations and it, it, it says something to me that I can't explain feeling, you know. It tells me that there is what you were doing early on was worth the while, you know, and I'm happy that since I started doing this business I have not done a song that I said, you know, I wish I'd never done that one. Uh -uh. No regrets. No regrets. Ah, I love it. I love it. I'm not a regrets, man. That is phenomenal. This means even a lot to me personally because growing up um, in school with your daughter, Nastasia, from prep school, high school, graduating class with her. All right, look, to me, you're, you're, you were always referred to as daddy. You know what I'm saying? So it's like to me to see to be this close to you right now. It's like, oh my gosh, this is the moment. So you, the whole crowd was vibing just like that. Like everybody had this close relationship with you. Like we could really feel your sentiment in each song. Um, are you writing new music? What new songs do you have out right now? First of all, let me explain. I don't write songs. Okay. I vibe songs. When I go into the studio, I work with my vibe. At this moment, if it, if I feel that kind of vibe, I feel like somebody just say, yo, you know what I mean? Lick them more now. <laughs> Lock them. But I don't force them things, you know? I just allow it to happen naturally. And the question I think you were asking if I'm working on some new things. Yes. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm working on a new project. And I would have wanted it, that, I would have wanted for it to come out like for the late summer that's not going to be realistic so uh, i'm thinking about just before christmas yeah just before christmas so it's a very good christmas present and sometimes no, when it comes to and, and, and you know something to whoever get a chance to get a copy of whatever i'm trying to put out there um will be a wonderful christmas gift you know yes. because um I'm addressing all the folks who, who um, had a hard time with, with love, 
and giving some hints on to how you should get some love. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just no, no. <laughs> just, just, just. <laughs> okay. But it's good. It's it's, it's going to be beautiful. I think everyone will enjoy. It. Phenomenal. That's phenomenal, man. So is it going to be like a deluxe CD or just regular like t 10, 12 songs? Or? I ain't do nothing regular. Okay. What do you mean it's going to be regular? You ever hear birds stand a regular something? <laughs> well, I'm telling you, girl. I'm sorry about calling you, girl. But <laughs> no, <I> man. <laughs> but I do nothing regular, man. Me do things, um, not really extraordinary, but um, things that will last. Yeah for a long time, for generations to come. Because, for instance, you came into my music life when you were just in school. Now you're a grown woman. And um, I don't want to ask you if you have kids. How are you, it fun? <laughs> the right one. Maybe I need to listen to your music <laughs> CD coming out and take some hints, huh? Uh, yes, that's, <laughs> that's true. You're too bad, you know. <laughs> Anyways, everyone can relate to what I'm saying on this new project, you know. There's a song for everyone, every single person. And my suggestion is go out. When you hear that it's out, get a copy. Yeah, true. Mm. I love it, I love it. So where else can we find you this year? You have a very extensive tour coming up. Is there anywhere that you want um, no, fans to look at? I'm on the tour. Mm -hmm. I'm on the tour now. And it's going to be going on until the 23rd, I think, of August. It's going to take me a few places mm -hmm. on the East Coast, Midwest, and um, Canada. Canada. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to last up until about the 23rd of August. And then I'm back in old Jamaica. Jump down. I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but you talk about what Russia? Oh, you know nothing. Well, I mean, what can I say? I my parents had a different viewpoint. <laughs> 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 All right, I just told you I went to Immaculate. Yeah, you should yeah, already yeah, know yeah, what we're dealing with. She said I was conquer. So that's a sad command. When I was at Immaculate, there was probably only two people that didn't have dreadlocks. And that was the McDonald's. But, um, you know, Jackie, your wife, and all of that. Oh, she was a, a part of the immaculate thing? I didn't know that. Yeah, went to school with her as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So see, we are talking about high school immaculate days. Sorry. I didn't come to talk about high school. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about you. So, okay, so what, where can we find information, you know? to find out where you're going to be next and maybe social media. I know, Miss Welch, you have some VP records, VP records would have given you a better description of my being on the road. Okay. VP records. So if you check VP records, you'll get a little, you know, smaller little synopsis Itinerary. of... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. That is phenomenal. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Hammond, for being here on Caribbean Focus TV. I don't want to keep you too long. See all of the insects them in a judge. I love you too. You're just too sweet. You're sweet. Bad. <laughs> no chicken going around here. <laughs> but thank you so much. This and beautiful and I, really, I really do enjoy speaking with you, you know, and... Same here. I want to say much love and respect to you and your program and everything that you would have wanted to do later on. All the best. Thank you so much. That means so much. Thank you. <laughs> CFTV, stay focused. <laughs>
Garden. Did you see that? Did you see Cherry Garden? She is amazing. I just love that interview. She said, I feel good. I feel good. I feel Good. It was great. I just love that interview. And Barris Hammond is amazing. He's classic. He's legendary. He's right there with Bob Marley when it comes to reggae music in his career. So if you weren't there this year at Fusion 2, Fusion 3 will be next year. Make sure that you go and participate because it's lots and lots and lots of fun. Now, unfortunately, it's time for us to close. We have to go, but... Don't forget, we're back next Saturday, 5 p.m., same channel, same time. Cherry will be back in the building. So make sure that you guys tune in next week because it'll be another great episode. We want to thank director Chris Scott for coming and stopping by. Make sure that you guys go to the event. The event is... August 22nd? August 22nd in Clayton County. Clayton County. Yes. Free food. Well, the food is not free. There are vendors out there, but admission is free. The concert is free, and you'll have a great time. And it's called the South Atlanta Caribbean Cultural Festival. Yes. With friend of the show, Imani Ray. Hey, girl. How you doing? Yes. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> yes. I'm excited for you, too. All right, you guys. Well, don't forget... Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Caribbean Focus. Make sure that you go on to the website, CaribbeanFocus.tv. That's where we have past episodes and interviews, full interviews on the website. If you have any questions, comments that you want to send to us, but you don't have a social media account and you have email, you can email us at CaribbeanFocusTV at gmail.com. All right, Director Chris Scott, is there anything else you have for us today? Oh, of course. Well, I have a surprise for you. Yeah. I actually want to present you, and, and Jacques, I already gave you yours. I couldn't give it to you here, but <laughs> I would like to present you, Corey, and in, I would like you to accept also for, for Cherry, in her absence, a wonderful T-shirt that says... I love the Caribbean. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Jerry, welcome. look what we got. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? We do. I've actually been to Trinidad. I love Trinidad. Really? I didn't get over to Tobago because the boat, I get seasick. I couldn't get on the boat. It was it's really, really absolutely boat. beautiful in yes. Tobago as well. So I hope you make it there one day. I will. I plan to. <laughs> I definitely do. So again, everybody, August 22nd, Clayton County International Park. Go ahead, be there. Make sure that you guys tune in next week to another great episode of Caribbean Focus TV. <laughs> All right, I love you. On behalf of Cherry, she loves you also. See you next week and stay, stay focused. focused.